guys, welcome back to episode 2 of College Football Prediction with the Bicycle of Thomas. Uh, so, I saw that so many people like this video that I, the first episode, that I decided to do it every single week. So, here we go with week. Four for college football. Yeah, week four. Week four. Wait, hold on. Let me. I'm gonna make sure I'm like. Right. I'm pretty sure it's week four. All right. Yep. I'm back. Yep. It's week four of college football. There have been four weeks. Sorry that I haven't uh, did a prediction for the first two weeks. But here I am now, making prediction for this year until the last game of this playoff for Tom Football. So let's get right into this, and you and I want to know and want me to talk about football, which I love football. But before we do that, I'll put you on hold for a minute. I want you all to pause this video when I tell you now. Don't do it now. When I tell you now, pause the video and you're gonna go down to the description box or go down a little way. You might have to close down and see the red button that says subscribe. I want you to click on it, change it to red to play. Then go over next to it, there should be a little bell icon. Click on that bell icon because then you will get updates on when I upload a brand new video with you that you do not want to miss. So once you have all that done, then go up to the sum up thing and give this video a big thumbs up. And then once you're done with that, I want you to leave a... Um, let's leave a smiley face down in the top below with a football. So leave a smiley face and a football emoji in the top below. And I know that you have done no task. Alright, now bath. So, once you do that, so what you're going to do when I tell you to pause the video. So, you're going to pause the video and I'm going to give you five seconds. Do those steps. So you guys can start right now in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back. I hope you all completed those steps. If you have, you got 100%. Alright, now let's get back to the original broadcast that I'm here today. Talking about how to fall with you guys. So, the first episode of this went really well. I would say, I would, if I had to give myself a grade on how well I predicted the outcome and the winning and the losing of the team, I would probably say around 70%. That, that's not bad for 149 teams. We're happy. There were three games last week that didn't even play because the whole thing was falling. But now that whole thing falling happened and let's all take a minute and let's pray and think about the area that that, that hit by hell is flowing and people who are still out of power and still in water, flood water. So let's take a minute and think about and pray for the whole thing. Alright, now let's get on to the real discussion that you've all been waiting for for a whole week. You've been waiting for this for a whole week. Now let's get on into a brand new 
Week 4, Week 10 of college football. It's going to be a big weekend. The first thing we got, it actually is tomorrow night, between the Florida Atlantis and the UCF. And they're playing at 7, 7 o'clock tomorrow, so it's going to be a night game. But I'm going to say, out of all these teams, out of both of these teams, they, one of them are, is undefeated, the 2-0, the other one is 2-1, but just by knowing that, it's not going to cause who's going to win, who's going to lose, it's, it's anybody's game, whoever show up. So I'm going to say Florida Atlantis is going to win that thing, but not by much. And if they lose, they won't lose by much either. But I, I'm thinking Florida is going to win that one. The next one will be tomorrow at 9 p.m. And that's between the Penn State and Illinois. This one might be a real answer if he's gonna win. But also I think that it's I think it's gonna be a fight. I think both teams are gonna go out there and they're gonna play their hardest. And they're gonna show two balls by the end of the day. By the last session they're gonna say I'm the one who's gonna win this. But I I think I need to say Penn State's gonna win this one just because of their defense. It's gonna help them maintain that victory. Alright, now we go on to Saturday. All these things are gonna be on Saturday now. The first one of the of Saturday afternoon is actually a top two team. It's between Georgia and then Minnesota Missouri. And these teams are both on the season. They haven't lost a game yet. I just tell you right there that it's gonna be a nail biter, it's gonna be a fighting game, it's gonna be one of those games to gonna go back and forth between the Joey did a touchdown, Joey's gonna do a touchdown, Joey's gonna do a field goal, so on so on until the very last session of that game. But if I had to hit a winner, just by Looking at how and been watching some film on the Georgia team, I'm gonna say Georgia's done a bit of a way to come out by maybe three points, maybe at best a touchdown ahead of the Joey. But it's gonna be a nail biter. It's gonna be a fighting game. It's gonna be back and forth. Just, just wait for it. The next one, which is the same time, it's gonna be probably a male to favorite game, Notre Dame and Wake Forest. You know what males are. If you if there's one team, college team that be a male in life to watch or are fandom, it's definitely Notre Dame. And I seen how Wake Forest play. They they play tough, but they won't. But I don't think they can play tough enough to beat Notre Dame. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put Notre Dame in the winning column of this one, and they're gonna remain undefeated. Oh, it's the next game: Nebraska and Michigan. This one. I don't know. It's gonna be a tough one. They both lost. One team lost twice in a row and haven't even won yet. Maybe Dyson can that who that is. I'm not gonna tell you who it is. I'm gonna say this can go either way. I don't think this is gonna be a high score game. And I don't think this is gonna be a team that's pulled right off the top. It's gonna be a slow thing. On a low scoring game, and I'm I'm gonna say Michigan's gonna come out with the W by the last second. 
but they won't they won't get more than a touchdown or three points from the Nebraska. The next one, Boston College and Purdue. All right, this one, this might be a clear answer. I think it's gonna win just by seeing how Boston College play and how Purdue is doing. Um, I personally think, my opinion, I think Boston College have an easy week this week. I think they're gonna come out with W. This might be a high scoring game in one direction. I think Boston College is gonna come out and just have a best week of their week, best week of their season. Alright, this next one this might be a fan favorite again. This is definitely my favorite thing. I'm gonna be watching this game. So here we go. Texas A&M and Alabama. Low tie. Uh, we all know who I'm gonna pick. But I'm not gonna say Texas A&M is, Texas A&M is gonna stay in this game until the end. They're gonna fight even though they are not gonna be voted to win. I think they're gonna stay in this team, I think they're gonna win, they're gonna stay up with Alabama, not let them have a blowout of them. But in the end, I think Alabama will tie is gonna win. That one is maybe an easier decision, uh, a little easier team on one of the one of their opponents. But I think Clemson Tido versus Georgia Tech. I'm, I'm gonna go with Clemson Tido is gonna win this one. They they have a better record. They have a better uh, pass reading defense. I think Clemson's gonna do what Alabama did last week and the week before that and just blow out their opponent. I think that Clemson this week Clemson's gonna just take the W and walk away. Uh, this next team, I have not heard of this in college, or I have not heard of this football team. Uh, one in two land. And they're playing Ohio State. Uh, I'm sorry, I would want to see an upset of done Ohio State, but, um, for something for opponents that I don't know about, never heard of, and I didn't saw them play last week. So I'm going to put Ohio State is probably going to have a blowout against their team. And they're on top, but Ohio State is just going to have a practice against their team. They won't even be the other day. They're just going to throw out there and practice like normal days. Normal training session for them, except for it's on national level. Televised. So I think Ohio State got this. They're gonna walk away with the W and like that. The next thing is gonna be a little better. It's gonna be a little of a game between Kansas State and West Virginia. But also, West Virginia is always their average. They're not fast. Um, I've seen them play before. They're pretty. They're pretty good. They can, they can stay, stay in their ground, they can go out there and fight. But in the end, in the end of the game, I feel like Kansas State is going to come out there the afternoon and check that box of the W and take it. But they won't, they won't take it easy. They won't have an easy game. Kansas State, they're not going to go out there, they're not going to go on that field, they got to play their best. So if they don't, then West Virginia is just going to take it and take the win. Alright, the next one is Virginia Tech and Old... Old... Domino? What? Up oh, there. Never heard of that team either. Uh, Virginia Tech had kind of like a bye last week. They didn't play because they said they got cancer because of Jose Floyd. But... Uh, just by looking, 
I have no idea who the opponent is, never heard of them. Oh, Dalvin, Dalvin, Dalvin. Whatever the opponent is, I wish I would say that it's gonna be a game, it's gonna be a close game, it's gonna be a fighting game. But I can't say that because I don't know who this team is. So I'm gonna say Virginia Tech is gonna come off last week from that horrific full thing. They're gonna come back, bounce back, get back on their winning three. So Virginia Tech has, has a bad shot by halftime. The next day, the next game of Saturday afternoon is Florida International in Miami. I wanted this game out of here. Uh, they're both won two games. They both lost one game. Miami pretty good. Uh, any football team in Florida, it has to pretty damn good. But if I had to pick a winner, I would love to see Miami win. So I'm gonna go with Miami. Alright, next thing, we, you got the Texas Longhorn, which you would probably say was a mountain team, like a couple years ago. Uh, and the TCU, this thing, again, I can see this thing is going to be probably the most watched because you don't know who's going to win, you don't know who's going to win, lose. Uh, you can't really pick a prediction on this one. All I'm gonna say is both of these teams are gonna go out there on Saturday afternoon, late Saturday afternoon, and they're gonna go out there and play the hardest. They're gonna show the fans what they want. It's gonna be a slow thing. They won't leave nothing at home. They're gonna leave it all on the field. We could even see a tie. It's going to go into overtime. Uh, just stay tuned for this thing because this thing is going to be nuts. Oh, it's the next one. Okay. It's Miss Knight. Miss Me. Both the BYU. Alright, first of all, let me talk about BYU. Last week, I said it's still thing with every flow. I was wrong. BYU came out and it was it was a slow thing, but BYU took it at the end. No one in the middle of the solid, no college football fan knew this was gonna happen. People would their mouth just drop from what BYU did last week. Just like them a round of applause, like wow, that that. That's the death of football game last week, BYU. That is what we like to see. So just by looking at that, what BYU did last week, I have to say BYU is going to take the so W in this one. Uh, BYU might have just gained a new fan, even though I'm an Alabama fan, but I think I like BYU. They're, they're one tough pussy. They are in. They want to play football like it's their last day on know. I appreciate BYU and what they do. They they shocked the world all right. There was that was the number one Tom Hall Reef. People talking about like did you saw what BYU did? Did you see what they do? How do they win? Like how did they do that? Just say well job well done BYU. Job well done. That's what we like to see. Alright. The next thing is Army versus Oklahoma. I had to say it. I seen Army play. I wish I could say Army's gonna win. But Oklahoma is a top team. Uh, they haven't lost yet. I think Oklahoma's gonna win. But Oklahoma's gonna have a tough game against the Army. They need to come, Oklahoma needs to come out of that locker room on Saturday, Saturday evening and hit it out of the park right at the bat to get their W. If not, then Army might have a chance. Alright, the next team is Louisiana, Louisiana Tech and LSU. Uh, this one, they're both undefeated. 
we ran a test, did not play last week. They were a day behind. So even though they were undefeated, they are one day behind. Um, I, I do see what LFU do. Um, they do pretty amazing stuff. Go out there every weekend and play their thing. I might have to give this thing to LSU. Just because I know how they go out there, how they win. Uh, they have a better they have a better season thing win and losses three than any other team other than Alabama. Because we all know Alabama has a pretty good winning three. Uh, the next thing the first thing that caught out Saturday night is Mississippi State and Kentucky. This one, I might have to just stay right here. Kentucky's gonna win because if you look at how Kentucky played in the past and the past two weeks, Kentucky's defense is just phenomenal. Uh, their offense know how to stay on the field and they know how to move the ball which is the one important rule that any football team can take you need to move the ball on offense uh, the second game of the night is Texas Tech and Oklahoma State right here right now I will tell you right now this thing it's gonna be a float thing. It's gonna probably be most people are gonna tune into this one because they don't know who's gonna win, they don't know who's gonna lose. It's gonna come down to the last wire of the day possible. It could might even go into overtime and then I am thinking uh Texas Tech is gonna just come out in overtime and just Knock Oklahoma State out of there and take the tips on the loss. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I think it's going to be an upset. I think Oklahoma lost. Oklahoma State is going to lose the captain. But all I know, it's going to be a slow game. It's not going to be a blowout. Alright, the next one might be uh, most rock game. Arkansas and Auburn. But just think about how these teams played in the past. This thing is not going to end quick. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be coming down to a fight. It's going to come down to overtime. But in overtime, I'm thinking Auburn's going to just come out on top by only three points. Just by three points. I don't see no blowout, I don't see a big lead in any of these teams. These teams are gonna fight to the end. Just like they were fighting if they, if they found out that tomorrow is their last day. They're the, so out there and they're the fight it out. They want that W, they both want that W. It's gonna come down to three points. And I'm gonna give it to the Arbors. Arbors gonna sit to three points. Alright, the next one is uh well, what people are going to watch? Michigan State and Indiana. Um, I I know how Michigan State play. They they know how to play ball. All I gotta say is Indiana, you better come out of that locker room. Too ready, too ready to fight for your last chance of the W. Because. You're gonna need it. Mission and State. All right, where were we? We're doing a camera shut shut down. All right, all right. Mission and State in Indiana. All I'm gonna say is Indiana. You better come out there like it's no other. Come out there, ready to fight, ready to stay in the game, ready to compete. The Mission Michigan State is gonna show you all that. They're gonna come out there and they were gonna say this is gonna be an easy day. Uh, if I had to pick a winner, I'm gonna say Indiana's gonna win. But not, not 
not by much. It doesn't come out. I'm, I'm not the best. It's not in the end, it's not a win by a touchdown. Alright, so next thing. Samples and order. We all know who people are gonna pitch the most. But honestly, you can't. You can't rely on old Sanford. It's a better team than all the time because of the safe system and the speed. You can't count on that. That's just a number. That is nothing. Even if Ohio State or Alabama is number one and they're going to the uh, number 23 team, that, that means nothing. It's all about who come out on Saturday to play ball. Who come out of that locker room ready to play ball and Move the ball down the field. But if I had to pitch a win them, I don't know if I can, because I kind of want to see an upset. And if any game can do it, I think Oregon can do it. So I would like to see an upset. But more reasonable, I think Stanford's going to win. But I would love to see an up upset by Oregon. Alright, we're getting down to the wire. Wisconsin and Iowa. This one is gonna be probably the one I'm gonna watch uh, after I watch my Alabama game. This one, they're both in the Big Ten. They'll kind of have the same weapons. You got one team undefeated and one team that lost one game. That that's gonna say much. That do not say much. Uh, I think this is going to be another nail biter coming down to the last session of the game. If I had to pick one team, I might say I was going to win just because of their offense. Their offense is just on fire right now. They know how to move that ball, just like they're supposed to, that's what you're supposed to be doing. So I'm going to say Iowa. Oh, it's the last game of Saturday night. For the reason it's in that week. Uh, it's Arizona State and Washington. If you saw Arizona State game last week, you know Arizona State played pretty well. They were the, their game last week was a very slow game. Uh, Washington, I don't think played last. I think they was one of the team things that got Panthers to do the whole thing for him. But uh, if I had a fifth winner, I'm going to say it's going to be another close game. Like very close. Like I'm saying that it's going to be so close that you can't leave this game. You got to watch it all the way through. You can't skip a beat. You can't come on halfway through and say, oh, this team's gonna win. You can't say that. You gotta watch it all the way through to see who's gonna win. But uh, I'm gonna be pressing Arizona State this week. Arizona State is a team with better options to win than Washington State. So, I, so I'm gonna go with Arizona State. Alright, guys. That are your prediction of week four in college football. I hope you guys disagree with me. If you don't, I would love to hear your feedback down below to see if you're gonna win or what thing was gonna be the best thing for you to watch. I would love to hear that. Uh, if you have any more questions, you know you can just leave it down in the comment. I'll be able to answer them. And remember to. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that bell notification so you know when I post. And remember to enjoy the little things in life. Go out there and be yourself. Have fun. Take rest. Be yourself. Find something that makes you happy and you all know where I will be. We will see you guys next week for another episode of College Football Edition.
But until then, I hope you have a good weekend watching football. And we will see you later. Bye.